Our next member is my stripper. Her name is Janine. As I earlier mentioned earlier, nothing lights up. No tassels, no motors. Uh, she just strips, and uh, I was trying in my ute, because I built her, what, 48, 49, whatever it was, years ago, out of poplar. She weighs a ton. I knew nothing about ball and socket joints, and I just sort of went blindly into work. But uh, that uh, I was trying to do something with a marionette that hadn't been done before, and that's throw our clothes. Every, every marionette stripper has always come out, and everything drops right in place, and when you take the puppet off, all the clothes go with it. <laughs> Not for me. So uh, I tried this. My, one of my experiences working in one of the toilets, as we used to call them, uh, this roadhouse outside of Phoenix, and I can't, so help me God, I can't remember the name of it. It was a strip joint, and they called me to do the act there, and I, and I didn't want it for one reason. They asked me to master of ceremonies. <laughs> well, as you can tell by now, I'm not very good at speech making, or no, I can, I, the microphones used to scare the hell out of me. They don't anymore. But however, I had to go into this nightclub and do an MC with a bunch of strippers. And uh, a real classy joint. And uh, so the first thing, I walk in, and there's no piano. I said, well, uh, excuse me, sir. I said, uh, my star number is my pianist. That's an organ. Won't work. What do you mean? We can't, we can't get a piano. I said, you can get a piano or I don't perform. So they had to go out and get a piano. So that's point one. Point two, the band couldn't read his way out of a paper bag. Couldn't read music with a damn. And uh, so it sounded horrible every night. I didn't get any better. But the <laughs> having the MC, oh, I missed my point here. I put the price of my going there way up here. They'll never pay that. They did. So I was stuck. So I had to go in the MC. Here I have this Hawaiian dancer who's the uh, uh, Phoenix's, I would say, primo uh, homeboy star. Hawaiian, Ernie Minahuni. And he gives me a long list of all this shit to say. I'm saying, eh, you'll be lucky if I get Ernie Minihuni out there. <laughs> I never got in past that name, never. And then the real crowning touch, I had to pick up the stripper's clothes. Oh. <laughs> and that was to me was so degrading. <laughs> Moi? <laughs> do what? <laughs> and so I had to do it. And then, uh, the only saving grace is that one of the strippers on the show was a, a gal I just worked with in the Orient, Jerry, she was a sweetheart. And she sort of got, she was a stripper, and she got me through it. She wasn't stripping on the show in the Orient, but she was, she was now doing this. And she got me through, but it was the most disgusting job I think ever. Worse, no, I'll take it back, the saddle and sirloin in Bakersfield, that was worse. That was worse. <laughs> that is the armpit of the world, Bakersfield. Anyhow, so, uh, anyhow, so I did the, the act there with a the stripper, and that's my story with her. I mean, that she worked all the time. Oh, another thing with her. When I started my acting like Golondrina, I, uh, I did, you know, family shows. And every once in a blue moon, the senora would say, well, you can bring the stripper in tonight. And then she'd stand up on the microphone and go, every time some clothing, she'd go, ooh, ah, ee, oh. I'm mean, saying, Jesus, shut up. <laughs> she just worked, they pop it. But normally, she worked in the, in the clubs when I was doubling, because I was doubling from the Olivera Street at La Golondrina, and I drive in my little car. I had another set of puppets at the Macaya where Jerry was. And I drive across town, I do one show there, and zip across to Santa Monica, and do two shows there. And then I was younger. Never, never at this point, but I could I do that. Anyway, so this is Janine. And I hope the clothes come off correctly. <laughs>